<clears throat> What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, you guys. Um, as I do normally Monday through Friday, sometimes on Saturdays, sometimes on Saturdays. Anyways, you guys, I am here because I am just way too excited about opening up my new Scan and Cut DX. I am literally just going to use this to like scan and cut my junk journal printables. So this is very, very specific. I am way too excited. Beverly, it's happening. I'm so excited. I have probably watched, um, I don't know, maybe like a dozen introduction videos on how to make this thing work. So I think I, I get it. I think I finally get it. And um, I tried to make my other scanning cut work, um, but it's just not working. <sighs> it's just not working. And my other scanning cut is still in the shop. Literally, it's in the shop. Let's see if I can back up a little bit. You can see, my desk is all messy in the background. No. <laughs> Oh, it's a box, in a box, in a box, in a box. Hang on one second. Get this on the floor. Holy oh, guys. How exciting. What the heck? Oh, my God. I'm really going to get my back into it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so here it is. How exciting. I should have really waited. Okay, if I had waited one more day. I could have gotten this in gray, but you know what? You know what? I'll live. It's so it's the teal one. Uh, Enchanted Dreams. Hi, Lori here. Hi, Lori. I'm doing good, girl. Donna Joe. I'm excited for you. I have that one and I love it. Really? Ooh, good review already. I think I've been thinking about getting that one. I've been researching. I have had a lot of scanning cuts. Well, no. I've had two scanning cuts. And, um,. I guess they crapped out on me. <laughs> they finally crapped out on me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have like weak little fingers. I need assistance. Okay. So I'm just so excited to get this in. I'm just going to be cutting out cardstock. It's pretty much what I always do, but maybe I can finally try. What am I doing wrong? Oh my gosh. Okay, no. I'm fine. I can finally try maybe just regular printer paper for once. Oh, there's a tape. Oh my gosh. I'm blind, y'all. I can't do that. <laughs> I'll help you if you let me complain and crap. <laughs> yeah, you should come help me. I need a lot of help. <laughs> I need a lot of help, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, let's see what's in here. There's a box. I'm trying to show me the camera here. There's a box. And this is the, what is this one? This is the SDX125E. And uh, I got it on Amazon. Okay, so instruction manual. Like little promo stuff. Okay, so this is like promo stuff. Huh. I'll see if there's anything else in there in a second. What is this? What is this? So this. See. Okay, so this is a cable. That's a big box for a cable. <laughs> okay, and then there she is. At least I think it's a she. I haven't checked. Let me get this on the floor one second. One second. Okay, okay. I use mine for paper crafting exclusively. Haven't ventured into vinyl yet, but I bought plenty here all stocked. <laughs> okay, okay, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I have to have it on the floor to pull this out. Full, y'all. Okay. Here she is, how exciting. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. I wish I had gotten the gray one, like honestly. I wish I had gotten the gray one, but you know what's okay. I 
I guess not everything in my room needs to be black. <laughs> uh, added value accessory. Three pattern collection activation cards. Okay, well, I don't want y'all to get my activation number. It's a secret. <laughs> Here, oh, it's huge. It's so big. It's so big. I really hope it'll fit on my desk. I'm going to have another scanning cup when I fix my other one. Oh, this is exciting. Let me get my camera. Because it normally sits like right here on my desk. So let me see if I can get my camera over there. One second. I'm just like, uh, I'm just like all over the place. Okay. Okay. So this is where it would normally be. I'm gonna get this right. Yo, I didn't go to film school, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so here it's gonna, it's gonna be, okay, there we go, that's good. I think that should be good enough for the camera. Okay, so we got all the boring stuff to do, all the tapes, all the tapes. Yes, mine is a sheet too, but she's not named yet. Ah, okay, okay. You're waiting for the baptism, Donna? <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so, <coughs> yeah, I know how to load the mat. I heard these little, um, what are these called? Wheels are like a lot, they get a lot dirtier than the other one. That's what I heard. That's the rumor I heard. So here should be my little tools. I'm way off screen. Here should be my little tools. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, so here's okay, here's the blade. Now I never really have much use for these tools. I already have like a bunch of these. And this little spatula, I guess it's good. It's good while uh while your mat's still sticky. Which I actually plan on keeping this mat sticky. I bought some some stuff called sticky mat. It's literally, literally called sticky mat glue. This is the drawing pen, which I probably will never use. It's not really anything I need. So that could probably be put in here and be put away. Might use this and this for right now. Okay, so this is. This is interesting. I don't know if I find it necessary, but maybe it'll be indispensable later. I don't know if I find it necessary. No, don't throw that foam thing up. What? Donna, what is that thing? What is it? What is it? What did I just do? <laughs> what did I do? See, this is why I need y'all. Look, I have it. I still have it. Look, 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 look. It's okay. Which bundle do you recommend? Price range? I got, okay, honestly, I didn't, like, really do much research. I kind of just went on Amazon and just purchased it. <laughs> because I'm really only going to use it for the core thing of just cutting out cardstock, cutting out junk journal printables that I designed myself. So, like, I know that they're good. So, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of how I judged it. Um, and the price, this one was $400. What is, what's with the new brother? My other machine is not working. You use it to remove your blade from the holder instead of using your fingers. Okay, okay, see, nobody told me that. Okay, nobody told me that, so there it is. There was also another um, scanning cut. I think it was like $20 less than this one. I think the difference is that like, you get more images loaded um, onto the machine which I really don't need it for that. So I'm not really like concerned about it. Are the mats better? I don't know, girl. This is the first time I use this. It's the first time I'm gonna use this mat. I could probably let you know a little bit uh, in the future because right now 
is brand new to me. So right now I have no opinion, except that I got this little pickle, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so back to being serious adults. So the power cord. Okay, the power cord is right down. Okay. So I got this. I actually tried to buy another one of the same one that I have. The Okay, so the power cord is different. So I'll have to remove my old power cord. Okay. Um, what was I saying? I tried to buy a 3M uh, 350, the same one as I had before. However, um, it's like not for sale anymore. It costs just as much. It costs just as much as this one. So I said, um, why not check this out? And I don't know what this is right here. Okay, so there's this thing right here. I don't know what that is, but I heard that if, like, it's not cutting right, that you should move to the other one. <laughs> I don't know quite what that is, but that's what they said. This, this long piece of tape here, back of it, take that off. Yes, Terry is Rankin Studios. That is correct. Okay, 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 so I guess this is just for fun. But I know this has something to do with the scanner here. I think it's this whole thing that comes out is to like clean the scanner. Okay. Okay. I think since I open this mat, I am ready to try it out. Now a uh, video I watched said that you should basically like calibrate it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't really like the fact that the mats are loaded one way only. Um, can't really tell you, cause this part right here is gonna get shredded up if it's only load one way. This part normally it maybe that was the old machine, but normally the, the old machine would put a little nick at little spots right here. I don't know what they mean, but it put a little nick. I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see, I guess. We'll have to see. It's a new mat. And uh, if it's not sticky enough, what is this paper for? Why, why did they give me this? Uh, this cutting mat is specifically designed for Scouting Cut DX models. Do not use any mat with the cutting machine other than the <laughs> cutting mat for Scanning Cut DX. Insert the mat into feed slot of the machine in the direction of the mark on the mat. The arrow should be facing the machine. For details on how and instructions on how to use the mat, refer to the operation manual supplied with the machine. When purchasing a separately sold mat, be Sure to purchase the cutting mat for the scan and cut DX. Okay. Okay. So now I know. Do not use aerosol sprays near the machine. The spray products may come attached to the machine, causing damage. Do not use do not attach adhesive materials to any part of the mat outside of the attaching area grid or the back side of the mat. Okay. When attaching materials to the mat, do not allow it to extend from the attaching area. Otherwise the mat may not be fed correctly. Okay. Okay, okay, I see what they mean. Okay, so I don't know what this is for. I thought it was like, here's a test page or something, or like, use this to calibrate. That's cool blue, though. Okay, so here we are. I read as much of the material as I want to. <laughs> Actually, let me see, what's in that box? What's in that 
skinny little box with a little bit. And just skinny. Oh, I think I left it in the actual box itself. Hey, I didn't actually get to see what was in here. Ugh. I always do things backwards. Hang on one second. So I'm ha once I fix my other scatting cut, I'll have two scatting cuts, and then I can get work done faster. So that's awesome. I'm happy about that. I've always wanted to have two working scatting cuts. I did for a while. So let's see. Just promo. Take out the necessary items. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Power the screen. And it's in Spanish. Okay. How to load the mat. Okay. It's supposed to automatically know how thick your paper or the material is. I'm saying material because supposedly this cuts like felt. Up to three millimeters, I can remember everybody saying that, three millimeters. But I'm really only going to use, like, uh, printer paper and printer paper and cardstock. Thank you for your purchase, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I think this is the same thing again. It is. Okay, so here's the quick reference guide. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Direct cut. Okay, I've seen a bunch of people do it. So I think I'm pretty much ready to do something, right? I'm ready. Got to plug it in. Uh... Sorry, I have not looked at the screen. I've just been on. <laughs> I have, you change the lever to two when scanning or cutting thicker materials. Okay, I'm not. So I guess we're good. Chris, hi, Chris. Who am I missing? Did I miss somebody? I just heard people say they have nicks up there, but I haven't seen any on mine. So I'll have a look. Yes, see the pretty blue bubble. Those nicks come from machine checking depth of paper. I bet you got slammed for your mystery boxes after the Gale opening what you said for watching sort of thing. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, I was, I was very irresponsible and I really, oops, sorry the camera touched my head. I was very irresponsible and I didn't really like load up on, on die cuts. But you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna get them done. So I'm not crying. <laughs> I'm not trying to run a little bit of work, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be some fun times coming up. Okay, let me get this plugged in on a second. I gotta go under my table. Ugh. <laughs> okay, where's my other? I need to find the plug for the old scanning cut. Okay. Anyways, let's plug it in. Second, let me take out a couple of plugs. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now it's plugged in. It's cool. Turn it on. Oh my god. It's happening. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope the power in Nevada does not go out. No, don't say that. I have too many things plugged into my, into my power search or whatever it's called. Okay, so the first thing I actually want to do is I'm going to take this off here and I'm going to keep. <coughs> I gotta keep this. Sorry, about, sorry about the noise. It sounded like I was killing a duck. Okay, so I got to keep that. Plastic, good, I guess. That's the trick. Okay, okay, it's not. I was afraid it was going to be too sticky. It's not. It's not. So, what I want to do first is I want to calibrate it. So, I'm going to get 
a piece of white cardstock, or white paper, I should say, which I actually don't, <coughs> I actually don't have. I've been using, I've been using the back of scrap of paper. So I don't have a big old 12 by 12 cardstock, but I just have the back of the 12 by 12. That is white. And okay. Let me just make sure we are calibrated. So we the rollers, and this is the load home, and then I can't remember what this is. <laughs> can't remember what this is. Okay, so the screen is bigger. That's cool. Okay, that made a weird noise. Okay, are we good? Because... <laughs> It some made some like weird robot noise. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the little um tool right here. I'm gonna go down until I see. Let me see, where is it? Uh scanning slash cutting position adjustment. So I'm gonna do that. All right. I forgot it'll load it right here. This is where I want you to load it for this. Okay, okay. I gotta get used to that being how it loads the paper. Okay, so. Oh, right, I haven't even put the blade in. Daisy. Hello. Okay, so I hear. Okay, so you can't see the blade like you normally would with the other one. But if you pull down on this right here, it like exposes the blade. Okay. So this should go in here. Close it like normal, I guess. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the green. I'm gonna make sure that I can have enough space behind my machine here. It did look like a pause button, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. <laughs> you know, these tech companies are always inventing their own symbol, and I'm supposed to know what it means because they don't put a word underneath it. <clears throat> Is it supposed to make those weird noises? I just got to get used to the, the new noises here. <laughs> I'm concerned right now. So I was told, not told, but like I saw in a video. <laughs> I saw in a video that you should do the whole scanning positioning thing because it's been like been moved around. That's what they said. But you know, that looks dead center. I don't even need to do anything. Like the dot is right in the middle. Yeah, I don't see an issue at all. So I'm gonna hit yes. Okay, so it's good. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that's just what I was told to do that first. Okay, so let me try out a couple of cuts. See how it how it works. I have to do <clears throat> Okay, thank you for not ripping my paper. That's what I like. <laughs> I have to do some of the Christmas die cuts. Um, this set right here, I don't believe I have available as a printable. I think I just chose to make this into the die cuts that I sell in the shop. I have another one that you can cut out though. That's in my store. It's under the clip. It's actually under Christmas. Okay, I gotta get used to the sounds. I like that I can um, <clears throat> still kind of flatten this if I need to. It did, it did. I'm trying to see if it's less sticky. Cause honestly, anytime the stickiness left my mat, I just um, taped everything down. But this time I'm gonna try and preserve the stickiness 
I'm going to use baby wipes. I have baby wipes on hand. And then I'm going to use this stuff. We'll see how it works. <laughs> we'll see how it works. What do you mean the mat? Oh, oh my God. I put it in the wrong way. Daisy, Daisy. This is not the CM350 no more. My goodness, you guys. <laughs> it is touchy, touchy. I got it used to having to look at what side I put it in because I normally do not. I normally do not. Okay, so if you guys are interested in um, printables for junk journals that are specific for the scan and cut, I do have some floral clip art available in my shop. I just posted the link right there. Those are uh, florals, floral die cuts that you can cut out specifically using the scan and cut because I I go in and I make sure everything has a nice dark border, which is pretty much what is required by the scan and cut. Um, so just, you know, hi, Letitia. What is up? And then if you did want the Christmas, um, uh, the Christmas clip art, I do have one set. Let me get it. It's actually this one. Here. This is not the same exact images as these, but um, they are Christmas. Okay, so let's scan and cut this, right? Let's do it. So I'm going to hit scan, then I'm going to hit direct direct cut. Uh, select a device to convert the scan image to cutting data. That is weird. <laughs> the, what? Scan, okay, I want this to be color. Scan and cut area 12 by 12. I guess that's right. These are all new. So this is my first time <laughs> looking at this screen and trying to figure out how I can make it work like my last scan and cut. I'm looking behind me making sure there's enough space. And there's not. And there's not. <laughs> okay. Okay, so hopefully you can see the screen here. Oop. There we go, you can see the screen there. So now I need to frame. This is normal, framing images. And really I use a pencil or, or my fancy butter knife, my um, bone folder. So we hit okay. Opening knife, bone folder, I can't remember what it's called. I call it fancy butter knife. Linda, hi Linda, what's up? Styles, yeah, this is a stylus. Stylus. But normally I just use a pencil or my finger. I mean, I don't do really anything fancy. Okay, so it's recognizing it. Why is it not recognizing this Santa Claus? Okay, and it's not recognizing this one. That is just super weird. That is strange. Changing the colors up to 15. Why? I don't know. I like that number. It used to work before. I turned my sound off. Those beeps are driving me mad. I probably will be too. I probably will be too. <laughs> I'll probably be doing that myself. Let's see, um, I'm upset that these two were not scanned. So let's see how it works here. You better work. Okay, it worked. Now it has those outlines. Before I didn't have the outline there. Okay, so let's go with it. I don't think I need to do anything else. I don't know what that, what does this mean? I don't know, what does this mean? Smoothing? No, we're good. I don't need that. Okay. <clears throat> That's the border. That's if I want to cut a shape around it. Let's edit. What is that? Okay, if I want to delete the shape. I don't know what those mean. Um, so I'm just going to hit okay. Select, okay, this is all new to me, guys. 
This is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is a explore with me, okay? Okay, so it's on cut. Pressure auto, speed five. Why do I want speed five? I always like the slowest speed. Okay, now let's start. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's see. That is a weird sound. That is very weird. Whoa. It's like doing some little buzz. Okay. Okay, so maybe... <laughs> maybe... The speed one is a little too slow. <laughs> Normally, slow speed on my other scan and cut is not this slow. Okay, okay. So after it cuts this one out, I'm going to pause it. Oops, my head. Sorry, my head. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pause it now that I cut that one. And uh, let's do quick cutting going to remove. I think it's going to take the whole mat off. Wait, no. Okay, so I'm going to go back now. I do this all the time. I'm going to go back, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit edit, and I'm going to remove that one that I just cut so it doesn't cut it. And now I'm going to hit OK. And OK. Select cut. And now I'm going to up that. <laughs> I'm gonna up the the cut speed, okay? All right, we'll, tr we'll we'll try your way, brother. Okay, we're gonna go with speed cut of five, cause that was that was interesting. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, so let's see what it does now. <laughs> she gets a concussion. <laughs> yeah, half the time. Yeah, I do something. Your machine is in the Grinch. It's love for your design needs to grow too much. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I do. I always hit my head. Okay, so this seems to be <laughs> not the speed I thought it would be on. So this is good. Okay. All right. Your default settings ain't so bad after all. Okay. They have pink ones, green ones, and I forgot gray. Yes, I wanted the gray. I wanted the gray, but. I didn't want to wait one day more. <laughs> so I got the teal. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yes, it seems to be working, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm a little tripped out. That is like auto sensing how thick the paper is. It's a little suspicious, but we'll see what it does. <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind the teal. I mean, if it was pink or green, I don't think I would have gone with that. But I like the teal and the gray one the most. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. They didn't even used to give us a choice between colors, right? It was just like whatever they put out there. So at least now you get a little choice. That's good. It's a hot pink. Daisy, don't be suspicious. <laughs> no, I'm suspicious. AF. You don't even know. <laughs> I still don't know. I don't know. I don't know these fancy things they come out with. Okay, so let's unload. And let's see. Okay, okay. So I don't know why that is so dirty already. Super dirty already. Okay, got to keep an eye on that. That's special. Okay, so here we have... I just cut out. Okay, it's ripping my paper. Okay. I know that's what the little spatula is for because it's a brand new mat. Get it. It's like the only time I use the spatula. But I guess I'll have to be using it more often because I am going to be retacking my mats from now on if the product that I purchased works anyways. 
if that turns out. Okay, okay, so it's sticky. I'm not going to complain right now because that's like the complaint of the year is that these mats are never sticky enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the first time is always a mess because it's sticky. See, I thought, see, I put the other scrapbook on there, the other scrapbook paper, and it did just fine. So normally I would have ran my palms through the, the, the mat to kind of take off some of the initial stickiness. But when I saw it didn't rip up the other scrap of paper like I thought it would, then I felt a little safe. Let me take off the die, cut, die cuts and then I'll have to scrape what's left behind. Ooh, that is like... Trying to, oh my god, I really have to scrape it off. That one like tugged into the paper. <laughs> I tugged into our head a little bit. Uh oh. So, okay, definitely touch your mat. <laughs> it's stickier than you think. Okay, danger. Of course, I'm sure that's like a good thing for. I don't know. I really only cut cardstock. I assume that that stickiness would be good for like vinyl, I guess. <sighs> yes, you can do offset also. Yeah, you can. You can. You could do that. Let's see. Oh my god, it's like scraping gum. <laughs> and I gotta get these little pieces off my mat because it's a brand new mat. You're ruining my mat. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't leave the the cut sticky or anything. But I am happy <laughs> they're, they're all like bent. <laughs> I am happy with the cuts. I am, I am. They look good to me. I don't know why it didn't notice the Santa Clauses in the beginning. But I guess, <laughs> like I guess. It should recognize them. They have a border. That was a little picky of it. Okay, so I just got to scrape off the little paper bits here. Okay, let me do one more. Try to see if I have any paper bits on here. I do right here. Okay. Over here. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, we're good. I'm just gonna, but you know what, to the touch, that's what's a little, that's what's kind of tripping me out, is that to the touch, it doesn't feel sticky. Like I would worry about it. So that's strange. That is a little bit strange. Let's see how it does this page. I like this. <laughs> okay, so let me see. Let me see how it does this one. So I patted it down. And of course, I have baby wipes behind me. So after I'm done, I'm going to wipe it down. I love the mat. Here we go. There we go. Okay. 
So I hit the home button, delete all patterns. So now we're gonna scan, direct cut. This screen is weird. <laughs> uh, okay, direct cut, start. <laughs> I, I love Brother. Brother Brand is, is really good. I, <laughs> I laughed at that, Chris. I was waiting for you to get it. Letitia, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I, I do. I trust Brother Brand to be good. So far, I like their sewing machine, and I like this. I guess that's as close as it's going to let me get. Y'all, don't forget to give me a little thumbs up if you are enjoying this video. It's not like a serious tutorial or anything. Like I said, I'm unboxing this for the first time. So when I can make a tutorial, maybe I will. I will definitely spend some time playing around with this machine here on camera. Because I have a new set of... Uh, die cuts I'm trying to get out. Of course, I'm still trying to design them, but if you guys haven't caught what I'm up to, check it out. I'm going to be having some paper dolls, and I'm going to have some clothes for them so they're, they're not all naked. I'm going to have them, and this is the 4-inch, and then I'm going to have them in the 7-inch, too. And these will be cardstock, so they'll be a nice huge size <laughs> if you want to use them that size. You can put them on a whole page. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just I'm designing the files right now um, so that I can get them cut out and made into sets. And I will probably um, have some of these as printables as well for you guys to um, check out if you guys don't have a scatter cut. But this is what is coming up next. Okay, so is there no... There's no like magnification. I can't. Uh, I guess not. Am I missing it? Select cut. Um. Okay, let's go. All right. So this is what's coming up next, you guys. In my shop, I'm working on them. As I speak, I was just really excited about getting my new scanning cut so that I can get these done. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, kind of a bummer that my other scanning cut died when it died, and then I really should have gotten my last scanning cut that busted fixed a long time ago, but, you know, here we are. Here we are. It's okay. It's cool. I'm planning a little girl journal. I don't know when it'll be out, so, uh, Joan, <laughs> you might be, I don't know if you're on uh, time crunch, <laughs> I don't know if it's, like, for a pregnancy, I'm just saying, uh, it should be coming out, uh, probably by, like, definitely by January, yeah, definitely by January I'll have it done. This SNC cuts chipboard, really? That could be interesting. That could be interesting. So this is mainly what I'm using my, my scanning cut for is cutting out these images that I cut out from digital images. It's like a whole snowball effect, but it's fun. You know, I'm really happy that I, I got this. I'm really happy I invested in it because it is an investment because it is not cheap. But if you want to scan stamped images, this is awesome for that. I'll probably be doing a video on that too one day. So definitely, um, I got this originally because I made myself the flower clip art to use in my junk journals. And I loved it so much, but I did not love cutting out the flowers. So I looked for an easier alternative. This is pretty much it. And uh, I, I mean, I've been using scanning cuts now for at least four years. 
Yeah, four years I've had my scanning cut, and honestly, one one just like completely, it just does not cut properly anymore, no matter what I do. But it has lasted me four years, so I can't really complain. I definitely made my money back, so I definitely can't complain. Um, it was just time for a new one, and uh, once I get my other one fixed, I'll have two. And then I can be twice as productive, right? <laughs> I'm guaranteed to be twice as productive if I have two. It's the law. I have to be. Okay, so let's get this paper off of here. Okay, so this time around, less sticky, yay. It's a little sticky there in the middle. For the most part, we're getting there. Okay. Okay, see, that was much easier, much more pleasant of an experience. So now I'm definitely going to baby wipe this down. And I'm probably done for today's live. I will probably get back to the paper dolls because I've got to get them done. I want to. I can't wait till. Well, actually, you know what? Why don't I just cut one out right now? That will actually. Oh, you know what? That would get me more excited to keep on working it. So let me cut one out because I really want to hold them. They look so cute. And I got to cut out. So far, I have. I cut out 42 dolls. And I have to cut out all their outfits, and it's a lot more than that in outfits. So I'm excited. Let me cut them out. That'll just get me, just get me all pumped up to get the clothes on. <laughs> okay, okay. I wanted a scan and cut, kind of for it. So I ordered a heat gun and a pair of new scissors. What? <laughs> what? How does that help? I would like to know. A hot tip. Sounds like a hot tip. Okay, let me get my baby wipe. I think somebody said get alcoholic, alcoholic, alcohol free. <laughs> but I don't know. I just went to the dollar store and got some baby wipes, y'all. I don't know. It's going to eat through the plastic. I don't know. I'll let you know. It's supposed to make getting these little paper pieces off easier. And it does because it just dampens up the paper. But these are the cheap baby wipes. Probably need the good stuff for this one. Okay, so the baby wipes is to maintain the stickiness. Keep it baby fresh. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I got all the paper off. Okay, right here. A lot of people have done this. Okay. Let me get the page on here. I just want to try this on. It's easier an alcoholic. No, I'm not. I'm too cheap to be an alcoholic. Alcohol is too expensive. <laughs> too expensive of a hobby. So I just buy scan and cuts because it's cheaper. <laughs> okay, so I got my machine back, y'all. Yeah. yeah, this is, okay, so I have, okay. So now I like this. Okay, so it's a little crazy bulky, and I don't think I'll ever really keep anything in these compartments. But I'll tell you what, it is nice to be able to kind of flatten the paper out here because before... This would be like, there's no flat surface, so you couldn't really do this. So I like that. Stop loading it on that side, Daisy. The rules have changed. Oh my gosh. Get used to it, Daisy. Get used to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you, Chris. <laughs> thank you. That's going to take me a minute to unlearn. Okay, so go home. And then we're going to scan, direct cut, 
the scan and cut machine button. And we're going to hit start. Okay. Okay, okay. This is going to get me all set up. I am ready to... I want y'all to be able to play with these dolls because they're going to be so cute. There's different ones. Okay, now they're all framed up. That I, I said alcoholic. I said <laughs> I said <laughs> I meant to say alcohol free wipes, but I said alcoholic, non-alcoholic, I think is what he said. <laughs> uh <coughs> I'd have to find them. i I will look for them. I don't know how rare they are or if there's any images out there that are uh okay, so there's a leak that are nice in, uh, in theme, I can look them up. Okay, so that looked like it was good. I'm gonna hit okay, select, cut. So weird, that's such a weird screen. Here, we're gonna hit start. You know what, Beverly, what I'm going to do, somebody asked me uh, what I can do now. Let me say that. What I can do now, somebody suggested that I cut out um, the African Americans from the, uh, the images that I use for my printables. Um, they want them cut out so that they are like the Tim Holtz dolls. You know how the Tim Holtz have, yeah, the Tim Holtz, their photos, because I don't know if I can find, I don't know if they really made paper dolls like this um, for African Americans. I have not come across them in my searches. So maybe the alternative that I can do for that is those photos like Tim Holtz. Um, what do you think, Beverly? Do you think that would be okay? You think that would be acceptable? Because I have more photos then I have like these type of cartoon images. I'll certainly um, keep up the search. Thank you guys for your input. I do appreciate it. Oh, let's see how these cut out. This is definitely quieter than the last scan and cut. However, it's just a different type of noise. It's just weird. It sounds like a dial-up modem. <laughs> it literally sounds like a dial-up modem. It's really weird. It is quiet. Where did I get what from, uh, Chris? I'm going to post the link to the scanning cut that I got from Amazon if y'all want to check it out. This is an affiliate link. <coughs> affiliate link. This is this one right here, Chris, if you want to look at it specifically, the SDX125E. They have a bunch of them now, and I really could not tell you the difference. I just got this one because it could be delivered, like, the next day. So I was like, okay, fine. Because I know it has a scan and uh, cut function. That's really all I need. But I, I, like I said, I think the difference are um, are the colors. And also, um, like the colors here, like mine is teal. And also what is different is the images that are loaded on there. Is mine the one with the most images? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. It was, I think it was the most expensive one on Amazon, though. But I just, like, wanted it right now. So I really didn't care. I needed to get stuff done. I have work to do, you know. So I needed it. It was an emergency. It was a scanning cut emergency, okay? Okay. So look at this. Even this is kind of cute. You know what would this be cute? To, like, spray or, like, paint on the silhouette? That would be interesting. That would be mighty interesting. So that is a very good cut. 
I am in, I like the mat so far. I'll tell you how long it takes to be not sticky anymore. It's already not ripping my paper, so it is slightly not as sticky as it was when I uh, first uh, when I first got on here. My first cuts. Look how cute. So these are the four inch, and then I'm also going to have them in seven inch. Jelly print with those. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't have a jelly print, but I want to I wanna try that, though. I might go get a jelly, pl uh, jelly plate one day. Look how cute those are. So, again, these aren't coming to my shop. They're not in my shop right now. I'm working on their outfits. And um, these are actually pretty easy to cut out because everything is, like, so smooth. <laughs> I think mostly because, okay, so it didn't cut out here. I don't know if I can get it to cut in the middle there. Unless I have like the actual cut files, I think. This little baby. Look at this little baby. It's a little awkward that the baby is also four inches tall, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it looks like the baby from Toy Story. Little big baby. So cute. Cuts mylar for stencils. Yes. That would be cool. Make my own stencils. Check me out. I'm the coolest, yo. I am. I feel so cool right now. I, I've never actually played with paper dolls, but this is interesting. This is a little before my time. Actually, no, I think they still had Barbie kits with paper dolls in my days. I just, I don't know. My parents don't bought paper dolls. Look how cute that is. Again, these are the four inch. I'm also going to have them pretty big, <clears throat> seven inch, in case you want to, I don't know. I was told to make them this big, so <laughs> I was told by my friend Kelly Snow, who wants to work with them, to make them this size. And I was like, okay, seems pretty reasonable. And then she wanted them bigger. And I was like, okay, <laughs> they'll be bigger. So check these out. This is just one page. Um, again, this is, this is my own personal files. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell them like this, um, for the, the, the cut files, but for sure, this is what I'm going to be doing for my die cuts that I'm going to sell in my shop. Um, so you guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me for this unboxing video. I am going to be, I found some and out in your box. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this unboxing. I'm sorry, like, I don't know everything specifically on your, on your questions. It was my first time, um, checking it out and using it on my own. Um, uh, but definitely I can give you guys a more in-depth review after I have gone through all these Christmas die cuts that I have to do. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I will see y'all on Monday. I'm going to take a day off and I'll see y'all on Monday. I don't know what we'll be doing. Probably using up those scraps those, uh, those, um, what are they called? The little clusters that I made the other day. That's what I'm talking about. So, you guys, I'll see you on Monday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. And, uh, I'll see you. Bye!